hello guys welcome to my channel where i share tricks and tips on how to order things from china and in this video i will share with you how to understand the china wholesale market for both online and in person so stick along to the end of this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you've not subscribed yet and give this video a thumbs up so as we all know china is the world leading exporter of items ranging from different uh, varieties so if you're looking for electronics toys clothing and many other products china is your number one place to look for those items because of its dynamic in terms of uh, the variety of uh, uh, manufacturers and factories that are located in china and uh, China is also one of the, uh, the good place for all the businesses. Uh, you just go there to buy in person. So I will look at that. So when you are looking to buy in China, there are things that you need to consider uh, before you even start. And that is how to find reliable suppliers, how to negotiate prices, how to avoid scam, and also how to... Um, inspect for items before they can be shipped to you so this is a a very good way to uh, prepare yourself uh, aside from capital and all that and also shipping is another thing that you need to be to put into consideration so i will share with you some of the online platforms that you can uh, uh, look to for your online uh your online wholesale uh um, purchases and i will explain a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages so when you're buying online online is a way to conveniently buy products in the comfort of your home or an office it's fast and easy and uh with with just a, a a a few clicks you can purchase an item but this also comes at the um like comes at the risk of uh, other things so in this uh in this uh video i will show you how you can uh, source for good products good suppliers as well as uh, um, good prices so um in china there are many factories and uh, for those that are online, you can uh, focus more on Alibaba, um, AliExpress, 1688, and all other uh, platforms that you can buy from. So first on my online wholesale platform that you can consider to buy from is Alibaba. So Alibaba is one of the leading exporter of many goods across the world and it has a leading uh, number of um, uh, suppliers and manufacturers which goes up to millions of suppliers. So you have a variety of suppliers at your disposal on your fingertips and you can browse through many suppliers to check for prices, to check for reviews and also to check for uh, products that you want to to buy so it's a very good platform for you to begin with uh, just that uh, it has some small drawbacks which um, um, it has a a high minimum order quantity the moq meaning it has uh, it requires you to buy like you cannot buy individual items unless you are buying for samples or just like the moq is low but for most of the suppliers they require you to buy a large quantity of uh, um, uh, items because you are dealing with uh, manufacturers and factories that produce this in mass production so it will require you to buy things in bulk and also you have to to uh, overcome or to manage the payment method because uh, you cannot buy off the platform that will uh, that can land you in high risk of scam or fraud. But uh, if if you want to do uh, or to do business, you have to make sure that you're dealing on the platform so that uh, you are protected, your money is protected, and uh, you can have uh, a refund whenever you are not satisfied with the kind of products that you've bought. So next on my list is uh, AliExpress. So I have done this in uh, in some of my videos, and I think I've explained the difference between Alibaba and AliExpress. So Alibaba is a B2B 
uh, platform and uh, aliexpress is a b2c platform what do i mean so b2b means business to business so they supply businesses with large quantity uh, numbers for alibaba so you have to order things in large quantities and then for aliexpress is b2c which means uh, business to consumer or consumer to consumer because aliexpress acts like a retail for alibaba so it ha normally has a low uh, moq a minimum order quantity for up to one item and it has fast shipping like you do not need to use a third party shipping it has its own shipping um, um, uh, platform and also you have the the the, uh, the platform itself user friendly and uh, easy to do the transactions so if you're looking for another uh, platform online that you can buy things in bulk aliexpress is your your um your second option if you cannot deal with um, alibaba so the other one on the list is dh gets so dh gets and uh, uh AliExpress are almost the same. The only difference is DHgate is kind of the the on the middle of Ali, Alibaba and AliExpress. So it means it has a low to medium or minimum order quantity, and also it has thousands of uh, suppliers. But uh, the prices can be a little bit higher compared to Alibaba, and uh, also because a little bit lower compared to AliExpress. But all in all, uh, the the prices and uh, the the uh, the platform itself is uh, a good way to go if you are trying to do, to do your business, and also you need to um, to learn how to use the interface because it's not user friendly, and uh, I would recommend that. Uh, Everything you do, do it on the platform. Make sure that you're paying within the platform. Do not allow when the suppliers will ask you to wire the money or use other means of payment uh, apart from the one that's provided by the, the platform itself. And uh, another thing that you may face when you are dealing with is quality. So the quality, you may encounter some of the like low uh, low quality items. So when you're dealing on at DH gates, you have to make sure that uh, you read the reviews, you check out the photos and uh, all the necessary information before you can purchase. So it's also one DH gates is one of uh, the uh, the the platform that you can look into. And uh, the other platform on my list is uh, 1688. So 1688 is a little bit complicated because this one is made for people who live within China. So this is for domestic wholesale buyers who want to buy things in bulk to supply to uh, to other platforms or to their local retail store. So the, uh, 1688 is the Alibaba of uh, China. It also has a minimum order quantity, a high minimum order quantity, but it also offers a wide range of variety to up to millions of suppliers on the platform and uh, a variety of uh, goods that you can buy from uh, that you can buy from 1688. So there is a trick that you can uh, do to buy if you are not from China, but it's kind of a long process. So I will not dwell much on it. But uh, if you are looking for to buy m much cheaper items, 1688 is your option. But uh, also you have to understand how it's, um, it operates because it requires you to have a bank, uh, a active bank account from China. It also requires you to have, if not a bank account, then you need to have a active Alipay account of which these two are not very easily accessible if you live outside of China. So there is a way you can beat around this uh, uh, this trick so you need to to know how to navigate through the the whole process of buying on 1688 of which i will do uh, a separate video on 1688 itself and then um do stick around and subscribe for for that video when you're shopping online you should always uh do a research before you can place your order like you can do your research 
check if the suppliers check the suppliers profile their uh, ratings their reviews their certifications how long they have been on the platform you can also communicate with the suppliers make sure that uh, you are talking to the right people check for the 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 quality of the item check for the prices and also check for the videos you can ask for videos from the suppliers for the actual have items you want to buy before you can place an order so this will help you to minimize the risk of being uh, like getting counterfeit or low quality items yeah so next i will talk about in person uh, on in-person shopping so this in-person shopping is very different from online shopping because this one requires you to fly to china and uh, you can go to physical markets and uh, shops to buy things so this is a very great and recommended way to buy items uh, so um, this is done because it's easy to inspect for the items you can touch them you can test them you can negotiate the price and uh, you can see the supplier face to face so this is a uh, another way of uh, doing business in china so in person also has some uh, drawbacks uh, you need to travel to china which is costly and uh, it is also time consuming and also you have to overcome the language barrier you also have to face to face the uh, cultural differences and also the local regulations like what you need to do and not need to do and also you can uh, encounter some of the uh, local dishonest sellers so they can uh, lower you into buying items that uh, um, are not good or may I scam you and also there are also like uh, many physical places so you need to be prepared to travel and prepare enough funds for your logistics um yeah so some of the trading markets that you can visit when you're in china are yuhu international trade city so this is a very big market place that covers about about four million square meters this is a very large place and also it has more than 75,000 booths for many, many different items. So if you are looking to go to China, Hill Market is a, another place you need to, to visit. At the same time, Hill offers their own online platform. So uh, I made a video about Hill, but you can uh, stick around to on this channel i'll definitely do another video so another market you need to visit while you are in china is a guangzhou clothing wholesale market so this has different type of uh, uh, clothing clothing sets like sportswear women clothes men clothes and uh, all the accessories that comes with uh, uh, like clothing i i'm not a clothing person but uh, if you are in China, Guangzhou clothing wholesale market is uh, your place to be if you are into clothing. <laughs> Another place you can be most interested in when you're in China that you can visit for your, um, for your wholesale uh, products is Shenzhen Electronic Markets. So Shenzhen Electronic Markets is uh, where you buy various things from uh, smartphones, laptops, tablets, cameras, and uh, smart watches, uh, all those uh, accessories that you would like to, to, to buy. You can uh, find them in Shenzhen Market. And it has a trade show, the largest trade show in China, which is hosted twice in a year in Guangzhou so uh, and it has over 200,000 supply uh, buyers every year and over 225,000 exhibitors around the world so it's actually one of the 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 most happening um, uh, trade shows in China so if you are trying to uh, to buy things you can uh, look up the calendar and see which uh, which times they uh, they do that and also they have uh, things like machinery hardware chemical uh, textile and uh, furniture 
and uh, consumer goods. So when you're doing on, on in-person uh, in-person wholesale marketing, you have to prepare yourself to go to the place and uh, spend a lot of time testing, talking to. So when you're preparing to go to China and do this um, in-person uh, shopping, you have to prepare yourself to uh, to go to the trade shows and also to go to the market to have uh, clear ideas about how the items are done. And also you need to call yourself a translator. You need to bring yourself a translator if at all you you do not know how to speak the Chinese language. Also carry a notebook, a camera, and also be confident when you are in China. Uh, and also you have to know how to negotiate with China, with Chinese, the, the, the buyers and uh, the sellers, sorry. And then also you have to inspect the products carefully, uh, ask for the invoice, ask for the receipt, and also... Uh, keep track of your order. You can also um, be polite to the the sellers and also um, understand that uh, you are there for business. So you you will need to be on your toe, but at the same time, do not uh, create uh, an environment where you'll be able to you will not be able to do business while you are there. So make sure that you you understand what you're there for and uh, um, do the business with the right people and create a bond. Yeah, so that's it in today's video. If you've stayed to this far, I really appreciate your support. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to comment them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible and uh, subscribe if you've not subscribed share this video to your friends uh thank you very much see you in my next video bye bye